Welcome to another edition of Thunderdome. This is Coach V. It's 1.3. It's Civics. Let go. Okay, so today we're going to talk about types of government. Um, so this is pretty simple. We're just going to go through the little government, types of government spectrum. It's on Canvas. Notes are filled out for you actually for it, um, and yes, it's going to be under test, so use your notes or look it up on Brainly or whatever. I don't care. Um, all right. What is that? Oh, no. I don't know. Why are you asking us? Okay, there we go. <laughs> What's going on here? Someone's in the waiting room. No, they're not. Are they? Yeah. No, okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. This is the answer to your exit ticket. Right here are the four functions of government. So, uh, keep order, provide security, provide services, and guide the community. That is the answer to your exit ticket. If you're in class, take a picture of it right now so you can write it out later. Or you can just do the exit ticket right now so fast and we're done and boom, you're present for the day. All right, so keep order. You pass and enforce laws. You establish courts. That actually is the job of the executive branch here in the United States. Provide security, prevent crime, protect citizens and from foreign attacks. All right, that's obviously our military services. Provide services. Libraries, schools, hospitals, arts, water, utilities, that's something the government should do. Some of these things are actually privatized here uh, in the United States. Um, then guide the community, manage the economy, conduct foreign relations, make sure that we're acting, um, not acting a fool around other people. Uh, when I say other people, we're talking about other nations. Um, all right, so spectrum of systems and government. Um, so we're going to go through no leaders, one leader, a few leaders, and many leaders. So you'll see this. They'll fall underneath these things while we go through. So no leaders, anarchy. It's kind of what everybody kind of wants. Like people want this for some reason, but you don't know why, and you don't even know that it would suck if it was the truth. If anarchy was legit happening right now, you would be so scared. Okay? And I promise you that. Um, so, no government, chaos, no order. Um, all right, now one leader. So, an autocracy. So, if you go underneath this, you have dictatorship and monarchy. Um, so, dictatorship, obviously ruled by somebody who is taken um, whatever by force, right? They're the leader by force, um, and, or they take it, they were voted in, and they never give it up. That could be a dictator as well. Um, so, a government ruled by a single individual, so there's two types, dictatorship and monarchy. So a dictatorship, single individual, dictates over the people, telling them what to do. Um, this usually requires the use of military to enforce the dictator's will, and in most cases they do, and then eventually, in some cases, they actually overthrow the dictator. And that has happened as recently as 2012, I think, they did it in Egypt. Um, then we have a monarchy, which you know is being a king or queen. So power is usually inherited, usually in the form of some sort of dynasty. Um, the power passes to the next most able family member, right? The, the heir, right? The, 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 the heir uh, or the heiress. Um, so two types. We have absolute monarchy and the ruler has all power, all the power. Um, and that's all the power in the entire government. Not only, I mean, there's no like legislative branch or judicial branch or anything like that. An absolute monarchy, the ruler has all of the power. And then we have a constitutional monarchy. The ruler shares power with another group in the government. So that'd be like our president and our legislative branch, AKA Congress. Like, that would be an example of a constitutional monarchy, except the president isn't called the president, the president is a king. All right? A uh, few leaders, an oligarchy. So, uh, an aristocracy uh, and communism. So, this is ruled by a small group of people. Um, only a small member of people have the right 
or ability to rule. So you can almost think of it as um, you almost have to be royalty or something like that, right? Or something you have to um, be an extreme landowner or, or something like that. So this can be determined by socioeconomic status, race, gender, some other birthright, or determining factor. That's what I was just talking about. Um, government policies are designed to protect the interest of this group and this group only. It's the only group that matters. All right? The workers, the peasants, the people, they're second fiddle to this group. So, uh, aristocracy, uh, government by the privileged class. So usually defined by wealth. Uh, government policies are designed to protect the interests of this group. The aristocrats. Or, what is that? There's a Disney movie called the Aristocrats. aristocrats. Yeah. That's I a love great, that movie. Great movie. Um, so, and then we have communism. Uh, which we can still see today pretty much in the world, um, almost on every continent. Uh, so a government system combined with an economic system. So it's a small group, usually a party called the Communist Party, creates policies which it claims to protect the interest of the entire society, but it might not. So from the root com, meaning together. Um, so the idea is that working together, the entire society will benefit. And this has been uh, a governmental experiment, just like democracy has. So, and, and you know, democracy and communism are still here today, and people are finding out which one's going to last longer. You're in this moment, okay? Um, so, again, the Communist Party, imagine that the government has a say in every single thing. They set the prices for everything. They set how much you can make of something. Um, they dictate what you can say, they dictate what you can read, they dictate all of that kind of stuff. That's communism. That's okay? kind of a lot of work. Why would they? Complete control. It's so much work, but it's complete control. And if you, you know, if you're a person like, uh, you know, Vladimir Putin or something like that, then, you know, you want complete control. Um, so, all right, then we have many leaders. So we finally got to us. Um, so democracy, uh, rule by all, self-rule, the people rule, right? Popular sovereignty. Uh, there are two types, a republic and direct democracy. All people in society are involved in the decisions of government. Now, not necessarily directly, but maybe they have a representative that talks for them. So we'll go through these two types. Um, a republic, aka a representative democracy, the citizens have a limit, a limited input. So uh, they get to choose their representatives, and they get to talk to the representatives, but the representatives ultimately have the final say. That's what's going on in Congress. I don't know if you know that or not, but your House of Representatives members or um, the Senate, um, they're supposedly listening to North Carolinians. Okay? One member of the House of Representatives re represents about 750,000 people. So imagine being the voice of 750,000 people in a government establishment. It's really important. Now, the, this, is the, this is the kicker. Does this, do the 750,000 people, do they all make their voices known? Do they all contact this representative to make sure that they know exactly what to do? No. They rarely do that. So the representative just has to get a feel for what's going on in their district. And then the Senate represents the entire state. Right now that's uh, Burr and Tillis for us at this exact moment. Or did it just change? I think they won. They do. Um, okay. And then we have direct democracy, which is every, what everybody kind of uh, imagines democracy being, I guess. Uh, this allows every citizen to vote directly in all government and policy decisions. We don't get to do that. What country Why not? Um, I guess this is more like ancient Rome. Okay. okay. Um, I don't know. I feel like we probably have the capabilities to be a direct democracy. Is right? that better? Imagine that the voice of every single American citizen is actually heard and used to make a decision. 
that would be direct democracy. Okay? Does that sound good to you? It depends. Right. I feel like the array of different ideas would make everybody right. a little on edge. One hundred. It might cause a little bit more divisiveness. Yeah. But I don't know. Divisiveness is something that we are definitely experiencing right now. So the number of people eligible to vote is limited to those who are considered citizens. And under the 14th Amendment, we have our defined citizenship, uh, our citizenship requirements. Um, so what are we? I mean, we're a representative democracy. Okay. Um, direct democracies are kind of gone, um, but it's a good idea. Um, and then we have a theocracy, which there are certain uh, nation states today that still fall under this. I mean, I think the most popular one would be the Vatican, right? Um, it is uh, the Pope would be the head of the Vatican, but the Pope answers to God. So um, they would believe it would fall under that. So government and religion are tied closely together, usually ruled by a single leader or a group of religious leaders. Uh, you can see this in the Middle East a lot. Um, usually has little tolerance for other religious ideas. So the ruler's authority is divinely given, and their decisions are divinely guided, meaning that they are getting their policies from God. That's what a theocracy would be. That's against the law here in uh, the United States uh, under the Establishment Clause of the Constitution. We cannot have a, an established official religion and there should be a separation of church and state. Well, yeah. That's what the Establishment Clause yeah. kind of says. So, um, then we have bureaucracy, which is such a terrible word to try to spell if you're not looking at it. Um, but this is breaking down tasks in government into different departments of, bure of bureaus. So like, government can't just be run by one thing, that's too much. Uh, so as society grows, there's too much to do, so this organization makes government more efficient. If you talk about the bureaucracy of the United States, you really talk about the, uh, the three branches, and then you know, the branches being divided up even more throughout, the, throughout each individual branch. And we are officially done with Unit 1. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I know about that. I know. Quick stuff. Um, so, uh, if you want to stay and watch CNN 10, stay, watch CNN 10. If not, do it on your own. Remember, it's due tomorrow. Uh, make sure you fill out that exit ticket, and um, I'll post both the videos from uh, Tuesday and today online in case anybody wants to rewatch them. And uh, yeah, uh, tomorrow we'll review the quiz and I'll release the quiz, and you'll have until Tuesday to do it. Tomorrow's Friday. Hey, Fridays are awesome. <laughs> Bye, see you later. I'll miss every single one of you. You guys are my favorite Zoom class I've ever had in my entire life. What about me? Hello. Especially better than the uh, group of uh, the AA group that's here right now in person. Bye. Um, Bye everybody. Wake up. I drew a math today in our class. Caden, wake up. It's so good. What'd you say, Caden? It's bad though. Alright, Caden, you can go now. Goodbye. What? GG. Thank you for commanding the name. GG, are you there? Do you want to watch CNN 10 with us? I was like, thank you. I was like, girl, it is just a bathtub. Alright, I'm going to play CNN 10 for you. I thought it was funny because it's bubble letters. Yeah, I had some kids get reprimanded today in my chemistry class. They fell asleep on the Zoom. Yeah. Teacher, I fell asleep at my 8.30. The teacher was like, okay, I'm in the Zoom now. He was like, what? He was like, did you just fall asleep? He, was, he said yes. He, he got yelled at for like four minutes. Kind of funny.
coordinates. Who was it? Yeah. I, I don't know the name. That's a heck of a long time. Yeah, when you said he was, he was through the Zoom call, I don't know why he didn't leave. January 14, 2021, a historic confusion vote and new restrictions on travel in America and spicy meatball. Today's my mom's birthday, guys. No! How? Happy birthday oh, no. shut up. to you! What a... Dang it. That was good. That was, that was good. good. That was probably better than everyone else. Yeah, I was going to ask.